So where did world-renowned pop artist Lamore Supreme get his start? Zen Intergalactic Ninja. One day I'm walking in the mall, the Green Acres shopping mall in Valley Stream on Long Island in New York. And down at the end of a corridor, I see this guy airbrushing t-shirts. And I'm just stunned by what I'm looking at. I mean, this guy was amazing. I go up to him, I introduce myself to him, tell him I'm the guy that, you know, wrote and created Zen. He did know about Zen. Quite a few people by that time, uh, mid-90-ish, uh, were familiar with Zen if they were at all into comic books, right? They read about us in Wizard or wherever. The guy's name's Joel Orbeda, great guy and I eventually am able to convince him to work on a story with me. It turns out to be a three-issue story of about 71 pages, which has now become known as the uh, Rawhead Saga. After Joel works on Zen, he decides to go off into other areas of art, pop art, fine art, uh, vinyl model building, and over the ensuing decades becomes known as L'Amour Supreme. He's no longer known as Joel Orbeda. He's known as L'Amour Supreme. And he's a worldwide recognized uh, pop artist whose work has been exhibited in galleries in Stockholm, in Tokyo, in Berlin, and in the U.S., of course. And he amasses a, a huge following. I reconnected with him about a year ago, and we talked about the fact that his first and only comic book story was Zen. and we decide that we're going to reprint it in both soft cover and hard cover for the world to see and for all of his fans and Zen's fans to collect and it becomes Zen's first ever Kickstarter campaign which is launching very, very soon. We're putting the final uh, touches on it now. This Kickstarter will not only have the hardcover and softcover versions of uh, the Rawhead Saga in it, but uh, it will also offer some beautiful uh, art prints of uh, Joel's work uh, cover-wise, including the cover of issue 6A, which is the very, very first piece of his, uh, not only Zen, but any comic art ever published. And that book has become incredibly difficult to find anywhere. Anyone happens to have that book, I think they should make sure they, they hold, hold on to it. Be sure to click the links below to find the Kickstarter and support it if you care to support Zen. I personally am just a big fan of Zen and that's why I wanted to do this. This is also part of a complete history of Zen I'm working on. So look for a much longer comprehensive history of Zen, the toys, the comics the cartoons we didn't see, the movies we didn't see, all that stuff coming sometime soon in the near future. So be sure to comment. What do you think of Zen? Is he for you or is he not for you? Do you think you'll support the Kickstarter or not? Like, subscribe, and comment. And thank you so much for watching. Josiah is right.